Hello, this video is about CubeSat Optical Grading Displacement Sensor. Let me start by introducing what a CubeSat is. CubeSat is a miniaturized sat by that is typically 10 by 10 by 10 cm and it can be used for a variety of applications. Competing with conventional sat by, CubeSat has become more popular for its low cost, visibility, and functions that are comparable with larger sat lights. Because of the compact size of CubeSat, it is desirable to make sure CubeSat can function independently without much ground controls. Things like data collection, data sending, communications, and self-adjustments are really important to make sure its independency of completing its mission. Based on that, we try to design an angular displacement sensor that can be used for its control of roll, yaw, and pitch. To achieve better sensitivity, we'd like to use diffraction grading rather than conventional prism refraction. Diffraction is used to describe the bending of light when encountering a obstacle. A diffraction grading sensor this is a special grading so that the input beam can diffract to a quad detector. Quad photodiodes then can detect the light and magnify the diffraction for higher precision angular displacement sensing. Here's a demonstration of diffraction grading. The diffraction effect can also be changed by light wavelengths. Here's a short video demonstration. Three gratings are available with different groove densities, with labels on the back in units of lines per millimeter. By placing a mark below each of the green spots, we can show the effect that groove density has on diffraction. First, we'll install a grating with a groove density of 600 lines per millimeter. Next, we'll carefully align the zero order spot to our previous zero order mark to ensure the angle of incidence is the same for both gratings. Now we can see that the distance between the spots has increased by a factor of four. This means that the first order reflections from the 600 lines per millimeter grading will appear at the same location as the fourth order spots from the 150 lines per millimeter grading. Our sensor uses QPD amplifier to detect light and amplifies the source. Then the signal is converted through an analog to digital converter for the magnet controller to process the data. Currently, we are at the QBD amplifier design. On the current market, there's a QP45 QHVSD amplifier. It is quite expensive and is only best for 1064 nanometer detection. Instead of silicon sensor, we try to find other materials to detect higher wavelengths. We're using an ingas sensor for 1550 nanometer light source detection. It has lower cost and high sensitivity. When the light source beams onto the quad detector, depending on the light spot and shape on the quadrant surface, each photodial will generate different electric current so that we can calculate the difference for future angular displacement sensing. For SPICE model, the quad photodials are modeled as a current source with a self-capacitance. From the difference of voltage, we can then determine which region photodials detected the light source. Here's a simulation when the light source is centered on the first quadrant. And here is the simulation when the light source is centered at the second quadrant. Please stay tuned for part two.